Okay, for this video we're going to complete ortho number four. So let's talk a little bit about this drawing. First of all, front view, you see this H face. And then the top view, you see this rectangular face. And then on the right side view, you see one, two, three faces that look like rectangles. So we're going to go ahead and get started. With this one as well, I'll get you started with the front view and have you finish the rest of the drawing. So, as we mentioned with the front view, it looks kind of like an H. Let me go ahead and relabel my paper here. And we're going to go ahead and start with that. Remember, we're going to start off with our object lines. So, first things first, front view. And draw this H figure. Try to draw this as close as you can to the original that's on your paper. Obviously go in any order you want to draw this shape. And keep in mind that we don't want to make this too tall because of the fact that we have a top view to also include. And now I'm going to go ahead and take a close look at where I might need to include then some projection lines. So as we always state, where we're going from front to top view, we're looking for corners, and we're looking for vertical lines. I think you can agree that there will be four projection lines going up from front to right side. Once again, we're looking for corners. We're looking for any horizontal lines. I'm sure you'll find that you should have four projection lines going from front to right side. Okay, we're going to have your teacher pause the video. Let's go ahead and have you now finish the missing top and right side view for number four. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this drawing. So like I mentioned earlier, you should have four projection lines going up. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. Let's make sure that our line quality continues to be light for projection lines and medium for object lines. Now we're going to shoot some over to the right. One, two, three, four. So like before, corners are good. Horizontal lines are good from front to right side. Vertical is good and corners are good also from front to top. Okay, looking once again at our drawing, we can see here that there's this rectangular face in the top view. Let's go ahead and draw that. It should look like this. We're going to come down. We're going to come over. And now the question is, what do I do here? Well, once again, there's something happening Underneath this face, you can see that these two openings, these two cutaways. So we're going to go ahead and add some hidden lines. So we're going to have a hidden line here. We're going to have a hidden line here. Okay, that's referencing this opening that we can't see from the top view. Let's now look over at your right side view. Once again, we have one, two, three faces. There's a third face right in here. Let's go ahead and draw that. So we know that the height is from the bottom to the top projection line. I'm now moving over. This is the width. And judging by what I did here, I'm going to try to make this line basically the same distance as this. I'm going to come down. I'm going to come over. Now this one, keep in mind, we're looking at this object from a right side view perspective. So we know there's a cutaway here. We can see that. And let's keep in mind that there's something behind it we can't see. But because object lines are always going to take preference, you actually would find that you could have a hidden line and an object line on top of it. But once again, object lines rule. They take preference. We'll talk a little bit more about this next time I see you in class. But the short answer is these should be object lines. Okay? So just take a quick look at this. Take a look at my three views, and hopefully 
you got the same thing. If you did, congratulations. Let's move on to ortho number five on your new sheet of paper.